Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I will show you some advanced, further advanced features of calculator and how to design that in the MATLAB app designer. This there was a request from one of my audience to show how you can convert uh, the sine and cosine computation in the calculator with both the options of radians and degree. So here we go. I'll be using the app, the MATLAB app designer app, which I created in my last video, the link for which is above, please refer to that. So in that video, if you remember, I showed how you can calculate the advanced calculator with the button is basic and uh, uh, advanced so that this sine and cosine waveform come appears or not waveform but the computation button appears. So once we click this basic, it uh, those buttons disappear and if I, we click in advanced, those buttons appear. So in this video, we, we will show how you can include other options like the computation of the sine and cosine to be in radians or degree for, uh, format. So we we'll close this. So let's uh, create the option. So for option I will use the radio button and the radio button group is here. So of course if you notice the radio button always comes in group because the way radio button works is at any given point of time only one button can be selected. You can use your mouse drag and drop options to uh, position your uh, things wherever you want and I will uncheck this show border I want to keep it very simple so I will delete this as well and now I will bring this down here I don't need this big thing and I click change it to radius which will be my default option and I will change it to degree which will be my second option if the user chooses it I'll before I proceed. Okay, uh, one more thing I'll do is I'll ch I'll quickly change the callback function in the basic where I disappear sine and cosine tabs or uh, buttons. I'll also do the similarly for this uh, radio buttons as well. So I go to the code view, and in the code view, if you see over here, for the basic if the basic is selected, we make the other things uh, off. So same thing I'll do for the radio button also. So what is the name of the radio button? We can quickly browse it over here and we can see it's a radio dot no it's not radio sorry app dot button group. So we should just select button group and I can use the tab key to auto complete and then I can use the visible option and this will be off here yes and I'll uh, select the same thing and when the advanced feature is there then it should be on that it should be it should appear for the user. Now I will run quickly and see what happens. Bingo. So uh, yeah so we can select the uh, uh, radians and degree option for the sine and cosine computation in the advanced mode. This appearance looks good. Now let's uh, do the programming of the computation. I close this again. So when you click the sign button uh, this is the callback which gets called. So in this I am doing a very simple computation that I just take the value of the text box which is displayed uh, uh, whatever the value is typed by the user and we compute and uh, write it back over here. But over here I am assuming that it by default takes the radian option because uh, the sign command in MATLAB always takes the input in radian form. So what if a user chooses the degree uh, option here. So how will we compute that? So I will try to be very simple here uh, in my computation. So what I will do is first I will assign a input a variable called say for example input value and this value will be nothing but it will take the value from the my text area the input box. And I'll use this as my input to the sine wave now. And the only additional thing I will do is I will check if my this uh, degree button, this what I'm uh, highlighting on the right hand side, if this is selected or not. So how we can check that is we can check the value of this uh, uh, variable in our code. And if it's true, that means that it is selected. So we can just have app dot degree 
you can use tab to auto complete and then value and if it's true that means degree has been selected so we have to convert our input value should be equal to we can convert from radian to degree using the uh, MATLAB commands like I think it's red to dig yeah red to dig you can use this API also but for the basic uh, users of mathematics I can just show you can do it very easily by multiplying it by pi input value and dividing it by 180 so basically I'm converting it uh, I am dividing it by 180 degree which is equal to my pi value and that's it so even so say for example a user has entered a value assuming that it's in a degree format so my code internally is converting it into a radian format and ultimately this will get computed so similarly we will do the same for the cosine so I won't type it again I'll just uh, probably copy paste this part of the function control C control V and yeah and control C I just remove this part the middle part which I don't need control V I think that's all. So the only difference between of a sine and cosine is this one uh, command sine and cosine and rest of the things remain same. I will repeat the rest of the code to understand how I have done the other uh, program. Please uh, refer to my previous video which is given in the uh, in, uh, hint section. Um, okay so let's run it and see how it works. So by default, let me first give a uh, one, which is I think it will take in the radians format. Uh, even the default is radians. So if I do sine of one is I think 0.8417. Okay, I am not sure. Now let's uh, play with the uh, degree option. So I will convert it into say for example 90, and I will convert it into a degree format. And let's try to figure out what is the sine of 90, which is one, which is correct of course. I'll do the same. 90 and if I select the radians and I, if I do sign it's 0.894 okay of course it's hard for us to compute degrees are sometimes more easy for us to visualize and understand what is happening Say, similarly if I do sign uh, cosine of 90 um, it should be 0 but if you notice it's giving a very very small value probably some kind of uh, like a tolerance limit or something like that but it can be considered 0 because because it's tend to 10 to the power minus 17 which is almost equal to 0 uh, to better understand let's take one uh, sorry I will take uh, one eight zero 180 degree and let's do cosine yeah minus 1 so 180 cosine of 180 degree is minus 1 if I do the same on sine 180 and sine it's uh, again it's not it should be 0 because sine of 180 degree is 0 but if you see it's 10 to the power minus 16 which is a very small number and can be equated to 0 yeah so this was a very simple approach where you can even put more radio buttons and tabs and uh, various options to do your advanced calculator design I hope this video was useful uh, if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for further videos please put in my comment section and if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.